Lesson 1 Categories of Computers and Computer Languages Part 2 Well, as humans when we wish to express our views and feelings to someone else, what do we do? We use language as a medium, don't we? In similar fashion, when we need to communicate with the computer, we need a language that a computer understands. For everything that we want the computer to do, we need to give it instructions. It does nothing on its own. A program is just a set of instructions that tell the computer what to do. The process of writing specific instruction in a computer language is called programming. Each programming language has its own specific rules. Because of the development of programming languages over the years, it has now become easy for the programmers to write powerful application programs. We often hear the word syntax. You see, syntax are the rules governing the formation of statements in a programming language. The development of computer languages has been classified in the following categories machine language, assembly language, high level language, and fourth generation language. You see, machine language is the only language that a computer understands. It is expressed in binary form that is 0 and 1 where zero means off state and one means on state. Machine language has advantage of very high speed and very low memory utilization. But the problem is, understanding and learning machine language is a tough and time-taking process. It's pretty difficult to write and debug which means to remove errors from programs written in machine language. It's extremely machine dependent. That's precisely why machine language is also regarded as low level language or LLL. When we say machine language is machine dependent, it means a machine language program written on one computer may or may not run on another computer and that's why very few people opt for specialization in machine language now here's an interesting fact the term software that we use quite often was first used by john w tukey in 1957 sm language now this language uses mnemonic chords or symbols in place of 0 and 1. So for example, if the operation code for add is 0010 in binary language, it can be directly written as add in assembly language, as assembly language uses symbolic codes. So add is nothing but 0010 in machine language. So clearly it's easy to work with assembly language than in binary language. Assembly language is also machine dependent like machine language and programming in this language is quite time taking. So assembly language is also regarded as low level language or in short LLL high level language. See, the restrictions in the use of machine and SM language prompted people to develop a language with the following features. Simple and user-friendly language means a language that's easy for humans to understand. Language that is machine independent. Because of the features mentioned earlier, it became easy to learn and use the computer languages. Now with the coming of high level languages, a large number of people started writing computer programs. 
you see high level language is quite similar to the English language. Some very popular high level languages are COBOL, Fortran, BASIC, C, C++, Java, etc. Fourth generation language or 4GL. Fourth generation languages are closer to human language than any other high level languages. Fourth generation languages are combination of languages with the following features. Highly user friendly and independent of any operating system. Very high speed of execution and designed to reduce the level of programming efforts. Fourth generation language requires minimum effort from the user to obtain any information. Fourth generation language is precisely designed to reduce the overall time it takes to develop software and the cost of software development as well. In fourth generation language, the user has to only mention the output he or she wants while the computer decides the sequence of instructions that will accomplish those results. One of the most popular examples of fourth generation language is SQL or Structured Query Language. Let's quickly go through the computer languages we've discussed so far. The first one is machine language. Well, it uses binary codes to depict operators and data. It's machine dependent and the only language directly understood by a computer. Assembly language. Well, it uses mnemonic chords or symbols in place of binary numbers. It's machine dependent and has to be converted into machine language by translator programs, also known as assemblers. High level language. It uses English words and mathematical operators. It's machine independent and has to be converted into machine language by translator programs such as interpreters and compilers. Fourth generation language. It's machine independent and is a popular application development tool. In software development, beta release refers to a product or a technology which is still in development stage but released only for testing and evaluation purpose. Language processors. Children, you already know that a computer understands only the machine language. So a program written in any other computer language has to be first of all converted into machine language. To translate any program written in high level language to the machine language, a special software is required. And such a software is called a language processor or simply a language translator. There are three different types of language translators. One of the language translators is assembler. Assembler is used to convert program written in assembly language into machine language. A program written in assembly language is called the source program. Whereas the program converted into machine language by the assembler is called object program or simply object code. Now here is some important information. If there are several pieces of source code in a program, they can be linked together into one program with the use of a program called linker. The linker runs on the machine code which is generated by the compiler to generate a final program. And this final program is executed by the user. The next language processor or language translator is interpreter. 
This translator program is used to convert a program written in high-level language into the machine language. An interpreter translates one line at a time, executes the instruction, and then repeats the procedure for the remaining instructions. If any errors are found, they are immediately removed. As the converted form is not stored anywhere, so it has to be generated at the time of execution of a program. I mean, when the program is run. And the next language processor or language translator is Compiler. Compiler is a translator program that's used to convert a program written in high-level language into machine language. A compiler translates the whole program at once. That is, it generates the object code for the program along with the list of errors. The execution speed of a compiler is faster as compared to an interpreter. Now it's time to recap. Computers are categorized into four types with respect to their speed, storage capacity, size, and cost. The four types of computers are microcomputers, mini computers, mainframe computers, and supercomputers. Handheld devices are small in size and can be easily carried in the hand. Smartphones, tablet computers are a few examples of the handheld devices. An embedded system is the one that has a computer hardware with software embedded or implanted in a larger device. Let's continue with the recap. Programming is the process of writing specific instructions in a computer language. Machine language is the only language that a computer understands. An interpreter translates line by line, whereas a compiler translates the whole program at once. This brings us to the end of recap and the end of the lesson.